What's up everyone, Alessandro the Crypto here. Welcome to another Bitcoin price analysis. There is a major indicator in the Bitcoin chart that is flashing to buy Bitcoin right now. We're gonna have a look into that. So stay tuned until the end because also I'm gonna give you some updates on some new meme coins that are upcoming guys. So if you like this free crypto content, as always, very much appreciated. If you just subscribe to this channel, leave a like and check out all links in the video description. For example, all exchanges that I recommend like Bybit, Maxi Global, Femex and so on. And also the newest upcoming meme coins that you can buy directly on their website before they're getting launched on exchanges. There are a bunch of new tokens that are upcoming right now. I have a nice list here in the video description to the ones that I bought and also if you want you can check out the videos that are popping up at the end of this video where I show you how you, uh, you can buy them directly on the website and also stake it to get more tokens once they are releasing. So we're gonna dive here straight into the daily time frame for Bitcoin because we are in the bigger picture still trapped in this in theory bullish pattern, this descending broadening wedge, we are more close to the resistance than to the support currently. And you can see that even though Bitcoin is currently getting rejected from around $68,000, we are still holding nicely the 66 to $67,000 area. In my opinion, we most likely are in the short term coming back down to retest the low 60s again, especially uh, to also close that CME gap that is opened now down to 58K. Yes, I still believe that this gap will get filled probably sooner than later. And once this is filled, I think that there we could get another great and good buy and long opportunity. It doesn't matter if you're trading, for example, here over on Bybit with leverage Bitcoin, if you're opening up some longs right now, or if you wait for a dip, or if you just want to buy on spot more Bitcoin or whatever altcoin that you want, I think that we still could get a good buy opportunity if we drop again down towards the 60K area and slightly below to also close that CME gap. In my opinion, this could be a very great buy opportunity, probably one of the last ones before we're really starting to take off. And one of the main reasons why I believe that is also because time-wise we are right after the Bitcoin halving. And every time we had that, Bitcoin was just going sideways along at the more or less blue area or purple area down here. We did that every time right after the Bitcoin halving. Sometimes we stayed longer there, sometimes we immediately started to skyrocket into the red zone. So in theory, we are still at the beginning of a major run up for the next coming months, maybe even years. That is of course possible, but short term, we can even dip down uh, towards 60K or even 50K, even a bit slightly below. That is of course possible. But in the bigger picture, we are looking extremely bullish, of course, and also time-wise, we should be expecting Bitcoin over the next coming months to trade higher. There are some concerning signs in some indicators. Yes, that is true. If you're a long-term subscriber here, you should know by now that in the monthly time frame, we are having currently some sell signals that are suggesting that we could retest the 45 to $47,000 area, but the fundamentals and the fundamentals charts, like here, this rainbow chart is telling a different story. So basically, yes, we can also dip down towards uh, even below 40K and still remain in a huge uh, bull run here and right at the beginning of a major uptrend towards insane price targets. But um, there are some signs, yes, that we could drop lower, but in the bigger picture over the long term, we should be going higher and higher for Bitcoin. Same like we also did after every Bitcoin halving. And right now there is another fundamental indicator that is flashing to buy Bitcoin and that we should be seeing now from now on new highs in the Bitcoin price very soon. And yes, we can eventually even come back down to retest the low 60s again. But in theory, we shouldn't drop any more lower than the previous lows that we created currently at 53K. Because if that happens, if we're gonna drop below 53K, we could be seeing a massive sell-off before we start that huge run-up towards new all-time highs and insane price targets for Bitcoin. So we have currently here the hash ribbons indicator for Bitcoin, which had a minus capitulation in May now crossing bullish with a blue buy signal. And this is basically what we always are waiting for whenever we have a minus capitulation signal here that this indicator is again turning bullish, so turning with a blue buy signal. 
And we can uh, again go a bit back in time and see what happened every time that we had such a blue buy signal. So this is the one that is flashing right now. The big question is, of course, are we going to see immediately now new autumn highs and push on and on because we just are coming from a Bitcoin halving? Or is this the beginning of a bear market or something like that? And we should expect lower price levels. So we can go now back in time and have a look what happened every time that we had this, uh, this blue buy signal. And I think it's good to start right here in, let's say, around 2020, because here we had the Bitcoin halving. And you can see after the Bitcoin halving, we had here for the first time a blue buy signal. And then the price immediately jumped, had a little correction again, or a massive correction. I mean, that's quite a huge correction from 12K at, down to $9,000. But you see that we never came um, basically lower than this price level here. We started to pump. Then later on, I mean, over time, although we went higher and higher, but later on, we had another minus capitulation on the way to the upside. And then again, blue buy signal after this consolidation phase here, huge run up into basically the all time high. And then again, minus capitulation. And then here blue buy signal that led also into a massive run up close to $70,000. Then this was the cycle top. We started a huge bear market. And even during a bear market, you can see guys that here, for example, we had afterwards a consolidation phase. Yes, we dropped lower, but over time we then started to push higher. And also here we had another minus capitulation during this phase and another buy signal down here. But even if you bought here with this uh, blue buy signal here over time, you would have had a very good, great buy uh, opportunity and, and good, good entry point because afterwards we started to go higher and higher until this phase over here, another minus capitulation buy signal and then we started this huge uh, run up basically until now and only by now we are having right now this blue buy signal again and that is suggesting in my opinion that bitcoin could eventually start right now another major run up very very soon into completely new price ranges also if you go back in time before the last uh, bull run for example here you see here was also the last bitcoin halving afterwards we had this uh, dump and uh, after the minus capitulation of the blue buy signal and uh, off to the races to the all-time high of $20,000. And the minus, minus capitulation came basically down here when we had this huge crash from $6,000 down to $3,000. And also here you see that um, this indicator basically catched exactly the right the bottoming area or a great buy opportunity here at around $3,000. And afterwards also here we started to skyrocket like uh, crazy. So this indicator is very powerful because it gives you very, very good buy opportunities, especially after the Bitcoin halving. As soon as we have here a buy signal, we see the Bitcoin price going like crazy to the upside. Even during bear markets, this is working. It has, of course, not the same impact and the same performance, but it is even then working. And that's why if here short term, because the daily time frame currently is looking a bit exhausted, if we're coming down to retest the low 60s, I think this could be a great buy opportunity, guys. And I'm going to leave you with those words, because this is very important that you understand that even if there are risks that we could eventually drop down towards 50K or 40K or whatever price ranges. I mean, black swan events always can happen over the long term. It's always good to buy Bitcoin. It's always good to DCA into Bitcoin. This is the only asset that no one can take away from you. You can basically travel through the whole world with all your Bitcoin around you just by having your keywords or your seed phrase in your mind and nowhere else. No one can take it away from you. And this is the magic of Bitcoin, the magic of crypto, the magic of ledger. And that's why, guys, make sure to always DCA and buy into Bitcoin, especially when we see such important fundamentals uh, indicators uh, uh, flashing to buy right now. That's why, guys, we have currently this buy signal flashing. It will be confirmed tomorrow. And uh, that's why usually when we see this uh, blue buy signal, even if tomorrow we're going to crash down towards 60K or 50K, whatever prices over the long term, this is right now a good buy opportunity. And if Bitcoin is pumping, then also the altcoins will follow. That's why if you want to buy any beloved altcoin like Ethereum, the Ordinals, Orange Token, uh, Solana, Cardano, whatever you want to buy, 
it's good to diversify right now before Bitcoin is taking off because then with the altcoins, of course, they're going to pump like crazy and then you're going to miss the train if you have some altcoins in mind. And although if you want to buy new meme coins that are upcoming, check out the list in the video description, especially the one for Pepe Unchained. This one is currently the most hyped one. This is the layer two on top of Pepe. And um, if Pepe is going to be successful and continues to pump like crazy, then of course everything around Pepe also will pump. That's why don't miss out on Pepe Unchained as well. Buy this new meme coin that is upcoming. I bought currently 12,000 of them and uh, thanks to the high API that you still get, uh, you should have uh, accumulated enough by now. If you're just buying right now, you still have the chance to accumulate more and more. The longer this one take, uh, to, takes to come out, the more you can accumulate and the more tokens you're going to have once they are launching. And even after the launch, the staking mechanism will continue. That means that if you want to keep those meme coins like Pepe Unchained for the long term, you can always keep the staked balance here and just take profits on your rewards that you're getting because like that um, you get automatically always in every day new tokens here thanks to the staking mechanism that has a very high API. Not only Pepe Unchained is working like that, we also have the meme games also here. We still have a nice 1000% uh, API. That means that you're getting a lot of rewards if you're buying this one for example. Uh, then we have Shiba Shootout, they are bringing out their new mobile game here also we're gonna have a utility on this token. You can also buy it and stake it here with an insane API of 1,270%. All the links are in the video description, guys, and also follow the videos that are popping up at the end of this video because there you show I show you how you can purchase them and uh, how you can uh, then take profits. Uh, later on, I, I'm gonna keep you always updated with those new uh, meme coins here. So definitely uh, give it a try, check them out, especially Pepe Unchained. Uh, then we have the meme games, uh, Shiba Shootout, and maybe also Play Doge and Winner AI, because those are the two next upcoming ones. Play Doge, this new mobile game with Doge uh, or Dogecoin, and also Winner AI. This one is upcoming in less than a week. So don't miss out on Winner, uh, Winner AI as well. And uh, yeah, the best is to diversify into all of them. Currently, I have the biggest trust here on uh, Pepe Unchained. I hope that this one is also going to pump like crazy, like uh, the, the, the original Pepe. We will see what happens, but don't miss out on them if you also want to uh, diversify into some of those meme coins. And especially if you believe that the bull run of Bitcoin uh, will continue for the next coming months and uh, maybe even one or two years before the next bear market, because the next bear market also will come at some point. But I think until then, we are by far not at the cycle top of this uh, bull run. Big corrections can happen at any time, but right now we have this special fundamentals indicator, with, of, which of course has nothing to do with all the other indicators. But um, when this one is flashing to buy, then I think uh, also based on the past, it's a good buy opportunity. Of course, all no financial advice, guys. It's just what I'm seeing in the charts. I'm sharing with you all indicators that I'm watching, what I'm doing. And so far, we always have been uh, doing great here. That's why congratulations to everyone that is here since many years and also uh, are sitting in a nice bag of uh, Bitcoin, of course, and DCA every now and then into Bitcoin. I'm, I'm even buying right now at 66K. Even if there is a risk to fall down towards 50K or 45K, I don't care. I just DCA every now and then into Bitcoin. If somehow a big flash crash or something like that is happening then i'm gonna just buy with fresh fiat a big chunk of bitcoin again um, as much as i can but otherwise the best thing is just to dca every now and then into bitcoin every week or every month it's up to you you can even do every day it's up to you of course but that's the best strategy by far even without trading nothing of course you can with trading also do some extra gains thanks to longing or shorting bitcoin or cryptos in general but otherwise the best thing is always just to buy hodl and dca that's the easiest and best thing without headache without nothing so that's it for now guys have a great one thank you for watching don't forget blue buy signal on the hash ribbons indicator thank you for watching and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye for now